In today's Your Healthy Family, I'm digging deeper into last week's announcement from UC Health about a new drug protocol when it comes to treating an ischemic stroke in order to improve outcomes. The standard for decades has been TPA or Alteplase, which is a thrombolytic, and TMK and Alteplase uh, work very similarly together when uh, treating strokes um, yeah. and blood clots. The beauty of TNK is that unlike TPA, which is given in an initial dose, followed by an IV infusion that can take about an hour, TNK is given in a single dose, and that has two advantages. First, a stroke is essentially a blood clot. An ischemic stroke is a blood clot that occludes one of the blood vessels running to the brain. So you're starving the brain of blood, oxygen, nutrients. Um, and what the TNK does is it uh, goes systemically through the blood and it actually starts attacking that blood vessel or that blood clot and breaking it down um, to open that uh, vessel back up and restore that blood flow. Yeah. The biggest benefit is gonna be time savings. So when you look at stroke treatment, time is brain. Um, so we're always racing that clock. So if you can shave one, two, to five minutes off of the administration time that improves our outcomes for those patients. And secondly, not only is a single dose of medication faster to give, but less steps in any process means less chance for error. Especially looking at medication errors, for spending less time mixing, administering, having multiple steps, you have less chance of error for that. Um, and switching to TMK has allowed us to decrease those potential errors by just having one, one process, one step, and one administration of the medication. Yeah. TNK isn't a new drug. It's long been the drug of choice for treating heart attacks caused by a blood clot blocking an artery. They just started doing more studies on, well, can we use TNK in the same application that we do TPA? And what the studies have shown is that, yes, it is a very positive outcome uh, for those patients in breaking down those, those blood clots. Um, and it actually has a higher affinity for um, some of those clotting factors and works almost a little bit better on those, yeah. um, those really hard clots. So blockage in the heart, blockage in the brain, stroke, heart attack. All works on the same. It's, it's ischemia of the tissue or the cells that are there. So those cells are starving for blood, oxygen, nutrients. It's just different cells, brain that cells works. versus cardiac cells. For your healthy family, I'm Ira Cronin. For more health stories, head to your healthy family.com.